let's 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 open in prayer and then we'll we'll take it from there. So Father, I thank you right now that all of us are gathered right now over the like social media and that you'll you'll be able to speak to us right now, speak to our hearts, uh, speak to our spirits, our souls that that will be that will be nourished, that will be edified, uplifted. Um, thank you, Father, that, uh, that we'll get, like the word says, the word of grace is able to build us up and to give us an inheritance. And I thank you that today this is exactly what will happen. We thank you for your word that sent forth to accomplish that which is sent forth. And uh, it will accomplish, it will not return to you void. In Jesus' name, we thank you for that. And uh, great things to happen, miracles. Yeah, you're still a God of wonders. That's what you do. Amen. All right, so I'm going to go for it, and uh, perhaps given me some, some time uh, to preach, and then hopefully we can do some ministry to, to you guys as well. So um, if you got your Bibles, I would love for you to read, read along with me. Um, we're going to go to Matthew chapter 14, I'll open from there. And uh, one of, one of uh, um, I was just praying today, and Asking God, you know, what, what, what do, what do we, what do we speak about? And God just put these, these words in my heart, and I know that, that this is, this is a timely word for you. Okay, so Matthew chapter fourteen, and and uh, we're gonna start uh, from verse twenty-two. Either Jesus directed the disciples to get into the boat and go before him to the other side, while he sent away the crowds. And after he had dismissed the multitudes, he went up into the hills by himself to pray. When it was evening, he was still there alone, but the boat was by this time out of the sea. All right. Um, and now, you know, tossed to and fro by the, by the waves, you know, big storm. In other words, uh, let's go to verse 25. And in the fourth watch between 3 and 6 a.m. of the night, Jesus came to them walking on the sea. It's quite amazing. Um, they they actually say that from from about three o'clock in the morning, it's it's the the darkest time of the night. So it doesn't get any darker than than by that time. He says, verse twenty six. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified and said, "It's a ghost." And he screamed out with fright. But instantly he spoke to them, saying, "Take courage, I am." No, so I am this some of the most probably the most powerful um, sentence in in the scripture. I am. Stop being afraid, he says. And Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. So Jesus said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water, and he came towards Jesus. When he perceived and felt the strong wind, he was frightened. And as he began to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. And you know the story. Instantly, Jesus reached out his hand and caught on and held him, saying to him, Oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? So let's, let's start from there. And uh, there's two men walking on water here. There is Peter. Uh, there is Jesus and there is Peter. It's very important to know um, how did Jesus walk on water? <laughs> How did Peter walk on water? It's different. Um, and uh, I don't know if you've ever tried to walk on water. When I was a, a teenager, in my teenage years, I can remember going out to, to our swimming pool in, in, uh, in our front yard and, and trying to walk on water. Maybe some of you have, have tried to walk on water. Uh, but uh, Jesus, Jesus walked on water. He didn't just walk on water. He walked on a, on a storm. And Peter walked on water. Now we have two, two men here. We have Christ and we have the natural man. We have uh, Jesus and we have Peter. So um, Jesus comes walking in, in you know, the, author the authority of who he is as the son of God. And then there's, there's Peter. One of the things Peter knew, all right, now with, with the, with the, with each man, I want you to think about the mind that they have. You have Peter, who has a, a natural mind, and you have Christ, who has a supernatural mind. Peter 
understood that he could not walk on water. <laughs> and uh, he was right. <laughs> Peter could not walk on water. Peter understood gravity. He understood that, that you can sink. But he also understood something about Jesus. Um, and that's why before he stepped out on the, on the water, he didn't just step out and start running. He said, Lord, if it's you, command me to walk. And you know the story, Jesus, you know, I am or whatever, you know, come. He commanded Jesus, said, come. Ah, he commanded Peter, excuse me, commanded Peter to walk. So Peter, he recognized the authority that Christ has in his words. So he saw Jesus heal the sick with his words. He saw um, the, just before he multiplied the bread, he knew exactly that, that there was power in his words. When Peter heard that word, that was enough for him to step out and start walking on water. So you could really say Jesus walked on water. Peter walked on the word. Okay. Peter, Peter, Peter didn't walk on, on water because he understood that if he was going to walk on water, he was going to sink. He knows gravity. Okay. So there's nothing wrong with understanding how um, the natural works. Okay. But, um, but Jesus, you see, Jesus don't, doesn't operate by those, those principles. Jesus, um, he supersedes everything. He supersedes every, every law. He superseded everything. Okay. So, um, all right. So I want you to pay attention to, I have, there is the natural man and there is the supernatural man. Very often, I've, I've given maybe 30, maybe 50. I don't know how many times I've preached of, of, of this um, particular um, chapter um, because there's so many lessons. Because so often, I, I've often found myself relating to Peter. You know, Lord, help me. You know, I want to I be above the storm. You know, God actually... God actually wants us to, to not find our identity in Peter, right? And, and we actually have to move from finding our identity in Peter that walks on water to Christ. Now, there is a lot of, there is a lot of um, truth. For example, I remember, I think I was with you when I preached about as long as Peter could keep his eyes on Jesus, he was supernatural. When Peter took his eyes off of Jesus, he began to sink like a natural man. Okay, so, so Peter didn't walk in his own authority. He walked in the authority of the word of God, right? And that's what kept him above. Jesus was in complete authority. Okay. Now, um, let, me, let me just gather, gather my thought and my point of where we want to go to. Thank you, Jesus. So, so it's, it's quite amazing. So if you, you can read this uh, chapter uh, or the story in, 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 in the book of Mark, in the book of John and, um, and Matthew. And um, what's really interesting, let, let's quickly go to John. Okay. John chapter six. And you can also go to Mark chapter six. All right. John six. All right, from verse, thank you, Jesus. Okay, from verse 20, same story. But Jesus said to, to them, it is I, be not afraid. Okay, also walking on the water. And it says, verse 21, they were quite willing and glad for him to come onto the boat. And now the boat went at once to the land they had steered toward. Okay, Amplified says, and immediately they reached the shore toward which they had been slowly making their way. This is incredible. Okay. That, that, that actually means is Jesus comes walking on the water. When he gets onto the boat, immediately the boat arrives at its destination. Okay. So there's two laws broken right there. Gravity, <laughs> 
And then he, he, he teleports. Well, that's what we would say. He teleports. Or he, 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 he transcended time and space. And he, they arrived immediately at the other one. Now, in Mark chapter 6, this, the same story. Jesus, um, let's go there. Let's go there quick, quick. I'm just going to read the one, Mark chapter 6. Um, just read verse 48. And having seen that they were troubled and tormented in their rowing, for the wind was against them, about the fourth watch of the night, he came to them walking on the sea, and he acted as if he meant to pass them by. So, you know, we preached. I'm going to close my Bible now and just, just talk to you guys. Um, uh, we preached a while back. He, um, there was Stephen Furtick spoke about um, Jesus being like savage Jesus because he, he just was above the storm. He had no fear. Um, yes, the disciples, they are in fear and torment and they're like, oh, Lord, we're going to die. And Jesus comes walking on the darkest time of the night. They think it's a ghost. And then this, this thing says he was, good, he was pretending to walk past them. You know, God's, his mind is so much higher. It is an entirely different mind than the natural man. You know, you think about the present circumstance that, that people find themselves into, you know, that's going on in, in, in the world right now, you know, um, with the virus, with, with uh, you know, finances. Jesus right now, he's still, he's still above it. And if you'll see him in the right perspective, he, he's got no fear. He's got, he's, he's not, he's not, um, he doesn't feel the urgency of it like some people do. He's above it. And, and that is the, the difference between the natural man and, and the spiritual man or the supernatural man. Okay. So, um, man, let's quickly go to, um, Philemon, on your way to Philemon. Thank you, Jesus. Let's go to Philemon. All right, Philemon, if you don't know where it is, it's just before the book of, of Hebrews. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, so I want you to think about Think about this while we while you're on your way. Um, the mind of Christ is 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 not likened to positive thinking. You know the whole the whole world is trying to encourage us to to think positive. That they'll say like you know if you get if you think positive you'll get positive results. Absolutely true. That's that's true. The mind of Christ supersedes positive thinking. The mind of Christ is above positive thinking. Its, its dimensions are higher. Its results are higher and greater. And ultimately what God is moving us into is not just thinking positive, is thinking like Christ, right? So um, that's Romans 12 verse 2. You know it. Don't be conformed to this world. Now, this world in, even encourages positive thinking. And, and as a church, yes, that is, that is what we should be doing, absolutely. Um, positive thinking isn't always the mind of Christ. The mind of Christ is always positive. <laughs> but it's, it's always, it's much greater. So I'm, I'm asking God in, in these present circumstances that maybe we find ourselves in right now. Okay, God, what are you doing? What are you saying? Um, uh, help me embrace the mind of Christ, which I have access to right now. Okay, and so we need to also understand like 1 Corinthians chapter 2 it says, I have the mind of Christ. You have the mind of Christ. But that doesn't always mean that we're thinking the thoughts of God. That doesn't always mean that, uh, yeah, that by default, his thoughts are our thoughts. It, it means that I have access to his thoughts. I possess his mind. I possess his heart. And now I need to have access to his thoughts. 
one of the important things in the analogy that I was showing you about Peter and Christ, Peter walked on water. He wasn't born again like you and I. He didn't have the spirit of God like you and I. He didn't possess what we possess. So it's when I relate to Peter walking on water, I am relating to a natural man. And that is, that is, that is not like John chapter 3 where, where Jesus said, you must be born again. When Nicodemus comes to Jesus and said, no man can do these works unless God is with them. Jesus just said, no, no, no. You must be born again. You must be born from above. And so I want you to know <laughs> today that you are born from above. That you are not, you don't have to relate to Peter anymore. Okay? But you, you have access um, to the mind of Christ, to his thoughts, to his ability, and, and right now. So, um, to me, that is because, I, like I said, I often, I've often gone down um, and, and just related to, to Peter. God wants me to relate to Christ. Okay. I don't have a lot of time. I've got a lot to say. I'm going to try and, uh, and, and, and get it quicker. All right. So um, let's quickly go to Philemon chapter one. We're going to start with verse, verse six, verse five. I'm reading out of the King James Bible. He says, hearing of thy love and faith, which thou hast towards the Lord Jesus and toward all the saints, I pray that the communication of your faith might become effectual by the acknowledging acknowledgement of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. Today, people will try, I mean, will try to get us to say affirmations or confessions. I am this, I'm strong, I am courageous, I am... You know, even in even in the church, we we'll get you to say, "I am washed in the blood. I am the bride of Christ. I am." Those those are very important uh, things to say. But Paul writes here, yeah, and he says that the communication of your faith will be made effective by the acknowledging of every good work which is in you in Christ Jesus. Acknowledging is different than just saying something. Acknowledgement is 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 accepting the word of God, is accepting that, wait, this is really who I am. I acknowledge. It's beyond just something that's saying, saying something. So when I, when I say I am the bride of Christ, I can say it, or I can, I am the bride of Christ. I can acknowledge it. I am son of God. I am washed in the blood. I am purified. I am above. And right now in this time, you should be saying these kind of things. The acknowledging of every good work which is in you in Christ Jesus. The acknowledging, I am not Peter. I am, I am, a, I am a son. I, I am in Christ. Christ is in me. I'm acknowledging it. I'm accepting the word of God into my being, into my core. So now my authority, the authority that I walk in, I'm not walking in the authority of a, of a natural man because, look, the word of God comes and it helps a natural man. But, and, and Peter was able to walk on water as a natural man in the authority of Jesus. Right now, I am already in the authority of the, of the Spirit of God. And I need to make use of that. I cannot afford... This one, this one uh, quote is um, Bill Johnson said, I cannot afford to have a, a thought in my head about myself that is not in God's head about me. So whatever he's thinking about me is what I need to acknowledge about myself. So, so when the disciples uh, cry out to God and they say, Lord, can't you, don't you care that, we are, that we're dying? Don't you care that we are... Jesus comes walking on, on, on the storm as an example to say, hey, you're actually above this. You're actually above this. And I, 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 had, to, I had to share that. Um, I have to share that with you. So think about this. 
Positive thinking is going to give you positive results. The mind of Christ <laughs> defies time, space, gravity, laws, anything that, that, that's natural. He is above it. Okay. Um, let me just see. I have, to, I have to finish up, but I have, I have a lot to say. Um, one of the, uh, is it okay, Prem, if I just, okay. It's amazing when Jesus, the relationship that Jesus has with God. Have you, have you ever seen God never says to Jesus, he never addresses him by his name. He doesn't say, hey, Jesus. <laughs> he says, son. And, and Jesus always prays to father. And he says, Father, and God says, Son. We need to understand that we are sons, right? This is, this is extremely, extremely important um, to understand uh, relating your, your sonship, my sonship, that we are, we are sons of God. At the same time, um, I want to... I want to uh, um, I want to really emphasize this point that, okay, all creation waiting for the sons of God to be made manifest, to be revealed. And that, that is the cry that's even in our hearts, it's in our beings in this time. Lord, it's the opportunity set for the sons of God to be revealed and to be made manifest. Um, we have to understand as a son of God, um, the authority that Jesus walked in. Because we understand now that what Peter walked in was the authority of, of the Son, of the Word. Jesus, walk, how did he walk in order? How did he go above the storm? What word did he hear? Okay. Um, and, uh, and, and now I, I have to think, I have to quote the scripture like Jesus, the Bible says in, in the book of Hebrews, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday today and you know forever but then there's a book of revelation that says that says he who was who is who is to come but he is the same yesterday today and forever but he was he is and he is to come there is the same thing about us that you could say there is a was, there is an is, and there is an is to come. And so there is the understanding of right now, I don't see everything in, under my control as I should. And then there is that when we shall see him, we shall be like him. That is the is to come. And, uh, um, now, now, the application of that right now is so, so important. It's so important. So, right now, I don't see all things um, in, under control. Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't, haven't seen um, the dead raised in numbers like I know we're going to. I haven't seen every cancer healed, but I've seen cancer healed. I haven't seen... Uh, every virus healed, but I've seen viruses healed, right? So Jesus has this, um, uh, this authority or this authority that he walks in. And, and we need to see this really in our, in our application today. Okay, I'm going to hit the finish. It's a very dangerous thing to say something like, I am God. Okay. I'm a child of God for sure. I, I, I am a son of God, but I am not God. <laughs> okay. It's very important. I am, I have Christ in me. I am the Christ generation, but I, I am not the Christ. Okay. It's, it's very important to understand our dependency on seeing God on seeing Jesus and seeing him for who he is. When I see him, I'm able to be that, that reflection. 
Okay. So in closing, John chapter five, Jesus said, I can only do what I see the father doing. Jesus had his whole mind and his whole mentality was his ability to see the father. When he saw the father, he understood his being that he was above. Um, and he was, he was above all, all rule, all authority. But while his eyes were on, on, on the father, I'm going to leave it like that for, for now. And then I'm just going to quickly do some, some ministry. And then I'm going to close in a bit. Okay. I, while we were worshiping, um, I don't know, Prem, how you do this, uh, but I saw a number of, of people here. Um, while we were worshiping. Are you able to see them now? Prem, I, I can see, uh, yeah, I can see them, but there is so many that I, I'm, I'm not going to be able to, but it's fine. I saw someone that has been struggling with um, the word, the word that I go was like a digestive issue. So what I, what I, what I experience is, um, and I do believe it's someone online right here. It's, it's a, it's a real digestive issue. It's, it's a, it's an issue in um, swallowing foods and being, finding a difficulty to, um, you know, it, it comes up the whole time. Okay. Um, I, I do, like, if you have some sort of discomfort right now, I just want to pray that that goes right now. And you'll feel like a great sense of relief. In Jesus' name. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, my Father. Um, thank you, Jesus. All right. No. Then I've got a, I'm, I've got this word. It's like a, I'm not going to try and identify you, but I feel there's, there's someone here with a daughter. Um, and I got the, the age 12, she's 12 years old, 12 years old. And, and I think her name starts with something with a T H T or T H 12 year old daughter. And, and I just saw the, um, there is a, um, it's like she's having been having certain visions, visions from um, it could be dreams or visions. Maybe it's it's been some kind of concern. I don't know if it's m maybe when she's sleeping or something. But I, but God just just touching her mind, um, and just and just uh, I felt that there's going to be. Um, visions from from god like real dreams um great sense of relief when she's sleeping um great peace that kind of thing so a 12 year old uh daughter something to do with dreams and visions and god wants to do something there all right now um yeah if that's you you can you can let prem know but um right now i want everybody uh that's watching all right this this word I, I had so much that I wanted to share, but for lack of time I I couldn't get to everything that I wanted to share. I want I want us just to just to quickly, if you have any kind of concern right now, like whether it be financial concern, whether it will be um, a, a sickness or or whatever that you have, I want you uh, just just get something of substance if it's your um, your your job or, or whatever income, you know, get your wallet or something. And just, I want you to hold on to something quick. If it's, if it's a pain in your leg or if it's a pain in your chest or whatever it is, I want you to, to, to lay hold of it. Just take 30 seconds quickly and grab hold on to something and we're going to quickly do something together. Okay. Irrespective of what 
challenge or what you're believing for you can get yeah. something as a point of contact you can get your debit card like this or you can get yes. your wallet a piece of paper a cloth especially if, if it's for healing you can get a piece a piece of a handkerchief or water in front of you water something like that something edible if it, if it's for healing or if it concerns any court case or anything like that you can get paper the papers concerning that okay all right so i want you to lay hands on that i'm i'm going to pray right now but i don't i, I want you to, i want you to apply what we've been what what we've been reading i want you to acknowledge who you are in christ jesus i want us from from that perspective of being above in the as the the christ man and not as as the natural man and we're going to we're going to we're going to go now in spirit and we're going to address it from 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 that place all right so so lay hold on that thing whatever you got <sighs> thank you jesus all right father right now i thank you lord that in christ jesus we are sons of god we are above you know we are above the storm we are not subject to the storm we are above what we call dependency what we call source we are above i thank you father that from this perspective that in christ jesus everything aligns right now with the word of god everything aligns right now with our inheritance as as sons and daughters of the most high god right now in jesus name there is pain it goes now if there is debt we command cancellation and and overflow in jesus name i thank you my father Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Jemra maku sahandru goshitile. Zahandru mo sidranda sakashi halamandre geshi. Jemra I just felt like um God healing someone um in the like the thigh area. Um I don't know if there was like some kind of operation or something that has that has um stopped you from from walking normally running normally in Jesus name that being healed right now thank you Jesus <sighs> thank you Jesus <laughs> there we go oh pain go thank you Jesus if that is you you can just you can just let uh prem know right now thank you Jesus all that pain discomfort is going right now again that area of the esophagus is going now in Jesus name the digestive issues whew, go thank you my father completely 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 in Jesus name thank you my father whew thank you Jesus So I, yeah I speak I speak life to you I speak life over every over those cards those finances those businesses um bodies uh like pain can go right you know go um in yeah in Jesus name all right I want to prem if there is still time I want yeah. If, if yeah if there is anyone right now that that um can we how do you normally do it like with a if every anyone that you maybe you can identify three or four uh, people that I can pray for yeah there's some and people dropping in a request do you want me to drop uh, read out the request to you yeah let's do it okay there's a lot of people waiting for the reports especially in terms of cancer testing reports and you know surgery a lot of requests here and wow too many to read out by name Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so we've seen we've seen cancers yield n- numbers, numbers and numbers of it. So we're going to and, and the Bible speaks of the increase of his kingdom. So we're going to see it in greater and greater and greater levels, all right? So 
we agree right now in Jesus name, all, all cancers, come on church. You guys are with me. I want you guys to pray with me. Um, all of these requests in Jesus name, we, we thank you father that it's already dealt with by the blood of the lamb, the sacrifice it is done. And we agree as sons of God in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. I, f- I feel there is, there's people here. You're pl- you're praying for your family. You know, now that Prem mentioned uh, people coming from different religious uh, backgrounds. Some of you have a family that are really close. Um, that has, uh, th- there's been great conflict as a result of, of your faith. Okay. And I just, I just want to pray, you know, sometimes it's a husband, sometimes it's, you know, um, your parents or whatever it is. Um, and as a result, there's, there hasn't been peace in your family. So I want to just, uh, because that just touched, I believe that that touches God's heart. And, um, apart from he wants everyone saved, but I'm agreeing for that same favor and that same peace in Jesus name. So the family, those who are lost, those who need to come to Jesus, God, I pray, you know, Lord, in times where our church, our brothers and sisters here have been crying out, praying, Lord, when, when is it going to happen? I pray for great comfort in their heart that it's already, yeah, it's already set up divine appointments in Jesus name, and people coming to Jesus, but also a uh, great peace within the family favor and open doors in the hearts of, of, of the, of their families to accept them and accept Christ in Jesus name. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Bruce, while you were praying, there's a brother mm-hmm. who testified. He started shaking because of the anointing. And there's another sister here who wrote that she saw a dream of water being poured out and then, you know, a refreshing coming upon people. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. There's someone. There's someone. Um, uh, like a. Um, I just feel that there's someone you you're in the truck driving business. You drive trucks, or you in, in like a transporting business, um, and and God, uh, well, business has been really low, and you have maybe I don't know if you lost uh, the job or something like that. As a result, your finances. Um, on a, on a low, but I, I see a truck driver or a, a transport driver, um, finances, obviously you, you stressing and you worry. I just feel there's, there's a, there's an opportunity now, um, coming in and, and I just want you to, um, how do you say, I always pray for peace in the heart. Um, but God will, will highlight that to me to, to, to allow you to, um, to have confidence. And, and to stop stressing and stop worrying is an opportunity coming uh, in Jesus name. We, yeah, give that. If that, if that person is, you can also just let, let Prem know. Someone in the transport business, like a truck driver. Yes. One of the major things on the prayer request chat, uh, as yeah. we all know about it, you also know about it, is uh, earlier we didn't have so many requests coming in for patients who are uh, suffering with COVID-19, but yes. of late, even from the last one week, I've observed that almost everyone who calls says they are either directly exposed to a patient or there's a patient in their family or there's a patient in their surrounding. So everyone yes. on the call right now, uh, irrespective of whether you put the prayer request, we need to, as Bruce is going to pray, we need to give a, get a little aggressive about this and stand in an authority so that, you know, if we have not encountered and if we are going to encounter some news like that, then, you know, we can stand in our faith. And if you are already yeah. having people around us who are with that challenge, you can pray, you can send their numbers. We will pray for them. And uh, right now, even with Bruce, we are going to agree for the healing of all these people among our Amen. friends and families who are affected with COVID-19. Amen. I wanted to, I wanted to address this in, in my message, but I really, like I said, I was rushed, but I, I do, I do want to just, just say that you, there's a place where you can just um, remain in the authority of the word. And, and if you're afraid or if you feel a sense of fear, that's where you need to, to get into the word of God. And, and that's, that's really where like, a, like the Peter example is there. 
is that when you don't feel like you're in control, when you feel like you're not in authority, that's when you need to let, get a hold of the word of God and, and remain in it. And uh, even, even for those who are right now in fear, I want you to get hold of the word. I want you to look at the promises of life um, throughout the scriptures. Read the gospel of John. It's, it's incredible how much uh, life you can find in that comfort and peace. Remain in the authority of that word. All right. Right now, if you have a, the virus or you've been exposed to the virus and you've got symptoms, yeah, in Jesus' name, um, no death. Um, I, and if there's mild symptoms, I believe it's not going to go further than that. In Jesus' name, right? Come on, let's let's agree, church. We're not we're not going to fall victim to to this. Um, so so right now, everybody that that have people in that area, you can you can say, man, this is not coming close to me, and um, and not coming close to 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 our uh, uh, my family, my friends, or anyone for that matter who comes in contact with me. Life and life in overflow, in Jesus' name. I mean, come on, re remember John G. Lake with the with the germs on his hands. And uh, he said that the, the, the law of the spirit of life, which is in Christ Jesus, has made me free from the law of sin and death. So, yeah, you are free in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Just pray for all kinds of pain, Bruce. All kinds of pains and all kinds of... Uh, because people have put many requests. So if I they have to read each one... Okay. It would all be right. So, okay. So pain in general... All of it must go. I'm just going to highlight a few. So arthritis. I feel there's arthritis, people struggling with uh, joint pains um, in their hands, uh, back, as someone with in, the, in the area of your back, and there's a, um, a very tight tension. Uh, just seems like you, you can't move uh, around scoliosis, the back that's a bit uh, bent, that pain to stop now in Jesus' name. Um, no more operations, no more tests, no more scans, um, just life in Jesus' name. So any pain, um, yeah, being a constant headaches, headaches that last for days, go now, um, yeah, in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. Yeah, I think that's, that's just a fantastic way, you know, if you've got pain right now, it will disappear. I think it's, 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 it's awesome and it's an awesome feeling and experience. If, if the pain left, please um, uh, message Prem right now. So, yeah, I'm just going to release and, and then you, you let us know. Okay? So, yeah, right now. Thank you, Jesus. All pain go. All pain go. Oh, Pinko. Yeah, like a name, a name Tom. Tom was a Thomas. Jesus healing you. Oh, Pinko. Oh, Pinko. Thank you, Jesus. Tom. <laughs> yeah. God is healing you. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. I don't know if there's someone like a name of Sue or, um, yeah, I just like Sue or something with the name starts with a Sue, Sue something. Uh, yeah. God healing you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Guys, this is awesome. And I, I want you, this is not me. This is not, this is, that's the, it's the Holy Ghost, man. I think if you, if you're right now, wherever you are, you can feel, you can feel the presence of Jesus. I mean, you can just feel it coming out of like beaming forth from you. There's, there is a real like healing happening now. Thank you, Jesus. I can feel it. I don't know how many you guys can feel it. But I can really feel the presence of God right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Yes.
Then you guys know that I love I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I love One. I love you. Yeah. Prem, do you do you want me to finish up? Yeah, you can. And uh, before you finish up, just one last thing to pray for. You know, I think uh, now, like, I know at a point that spirit word caught on so much to the message of life and immortality, like it was going out in waves, yes. and, you know, this thing. I think that's what's happening in Hyderabad and also to all the people. When I say Hyderabad, at least I mean all the people connected also on the platform now, because uh, one way or the other, they get exactly the same thing that we enjoy here. So just pray over all of us, just pray over all the youth and just pray over everyone believing in this message that they will press in with this message, you know, because, you know, it's not so easy. And you know, <laughs> if it took five years to come to the stage and now we see yeah. a spike, Maybe. you obviously know a lot of things about this. Yeah. Yeah. Like this is what you, what you're saying is Colossians chapter four. I mean, I'm going to read that for you guys and, and I'm going to use that as a, as a prayer because Paul actually asked um, people to pray regarding that. Um, Paul writes Colossians 4, continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving with all praying for us also that God would open unto us a door of utterance to speak the mystery of Christ for which I am also in bonds. And, um, and then he says that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak. And so I really believe that we have a responsibility to, to preach that message. But um, he says, pray, pray that there'll be a door of utterance, you know? And so we need to pray for, for favor. Um, that message does come under a lot of attack uh, often, but that's why we need to pray for favor. And uh, so that while we preach, while we speak it, that it will manifest. And so God, God wants us to live. He doesn't, you know, no sickness um, is, is acceptable to God. No, you know, in, there's no place where you draw the line and you say, okay, God is pleased with that. God wants people to live. God is the God of life. And uh, so I pray, um, I pray for, well, Prem mentioned the young people, man, grab a hold of that word, run with that word, run with it relentlessly. Um, doesn't matter, you know, make sure you, you, you spend time in the word, under the word, under the influence of the word, <laughs> uh, with, the, with the right people and run, run with that word in Jesus' name. So, Father, I thank you for, for favor um, and, and that that word will manifest in Jesus' name. Yeah, amen. Amen.